Opus Corp has public shareholders and a board of directors that is supposed to act in their best interests. For more on what the board and Murdoch should do, we welcome one of America's foremost experts on management, Bill George. Bill George is a professor of management practice at the Harvard Business School, and he's also the former CEO of Medtronic. He's on the phone with us from Avon, Colorado. Bill, let us start with the board. If you were advising News Corp's board right now, what would you be telling them to do? Well, I think they have a very big problem. Uh, to, and they really have to look at every single one of their standards top to bottom. But the problem, Eric, is this is an ongoing saga and it's an unraveling situation and they don't know all the information. There's going to be more information come out. I can't tell you what it is. But the board is unusual, Eric. Half of the board are insiders. So uh, I think this presents a very unusual circumstance. The boards I'm used to have typically one or two uh, insiders on the board. This one has half of the eight of the 16 people are, uh, are insiders. You've got some strong people on there, uh, John Thornton, uh, who's on other significant boards like HSBC, Tom Perkin, who founded Kleiner Perkins. But overall, it's a, it's, it's a half inside board. And I don't expect Murdoch to step down any time too, anytime soon. I think he's going to fight to hold on to his power. And that may be right that long term he makes a change and just becomes chair. But as we all know, he's wanted his son James to take over. And James has as many uh, issues facing him as, uh, Mer as uh, his father does, uh, as does uh, Rebecca. So, uh, Bill, uh, Bill let, let's put the expectation, which, which may, for all we know, be accurate, aside for a moment. In your opinion, should Rupert Murdoch step down, even if it's just for an interim period right now? Well, I think maybe, Eric, he should step aside or step up, so to speak, to, uh, to kind of take the pressure off for the corporation. But uh, that's easier said than done at a, an organization that's so dominated by one person. Uh, but I think it would, it would be better uh, to, to do that, to get out of the public eye, because this is having such enormous political fallout in Great Britain and uh, eventually liable to come back here that uh, he's got to give the corporation some protection. So that would be a logical solution. Now let's look at the board for a moment. You mentioned that there is a high percentage of insiders on the News Corp board. Does that put them under additional pressure to make the right decisions because pot potentially they face liability down the road? Well, they face liability, but I think they're, they probably have uh, insurance. I'm not sure of the U.K. system, but, but they're not likely to turn against uh, Rupert Murdoch very quickly. Uh, I would not expect that. So I think this split, I think uh, what's likely to happen is there should be a committee of the board formed to evaluate uh, what's happening that was strictly independent directors. And so they were reporting back to the whole board independently. I think that would be the appropriate governance thing under this very unusual governance structure. Uh, Bill, you mentioned Tom Perkins of Kleiner Perkins. He is a legendary venture capitalist, also sits on the News Corp board. He spoke to the Associated Press yesterday and said Rupert Murdoch has the board's support. Is that the right thing for somebody in his position to say right now? I think that's all he can say. As soon as he gives any hint that there's anything else, uh, that he, he's not, he can't act in that way, he has to say that. And uh, But I do think they have to do show some level of independence, and they have to go back and review all their governance standards. By the way, Eric, I'd push this a little further, too. I think this is going to trigger a reassessment on all ma major media organizations of their standards, and do we have tight enough standards of how we operate, how we gather information. Not maybe others aren't as concerned about uh, doing illegal things, such as paying off policemen, but I think everyone's got to look at their standards. How do we get information? And what do we, how many, how do we confirm this? What kind of sources are we looking at? Because I think there's been kind of a, an opening up of that, loosening up of those standards. Uh, you know what they say, Bill, sunshine is always <laughs> the best disinfectant. Uh, how about um, the dual class share structure? What does this situation say about that? Well, this is very common. I don't like it myself. I, I like the single class of shareholders, but many organizations have it, particularly European organizations have uh, this kind of structure. And I've lived with it, it's worked fine, but I think in general it, it gives some protection to the, uh, to the family in this case. Do you think there's some chance that maybe this episode will precipitate uh, a unraveling, a disentanglement, uh, the elimination, shall we say, of News Corp's dual class share structure? 
I think unless there's more significant political fallout, I think it's unlikely. But I think what's un not determined here is political fallout in the U.K. This is way too close to Prime Minister Canyon Cameron, who's had a, an unblemished record. He's done an outstanding job. And this has got to be very uncomfortable for, uh, for him and his party right now. Bill, you said that the, the board, the independent directors on the board, should hire independent counsel to advise them, form a separate committee. If you had to pick one person or maybe two people, whom should they go to? Who uh, is peerless in that regard? Whose judgment is above reproach? Are you talking about on the board, Eric? There, you no, know, no, no. An independent advisor. If they had to go and hire somebody to advise them, to help them get through this, to make the right decisions, and to make sure that they don't subject themselves to the kind of scrutiny that Rupert Murdoch is under, who should they seek advice from? Well, if you're going to, I don't know all the people in Britain. If you're going to, there are excellent people in Britain. If you're going to the United States, a colleague of mine, Jay Lorsch, who's probably the world's expert on governance, would be excellent to do that. But you'd also want to have very strong legal advice uh, so they don't go outside those legal bounds. Uh, but I do think that you'll see certain members of the board who are quite independent stepping up and taking a, a strong position, a strong leadership position. That's what I would anticipate. It's almost incumbent upon them because they have very good reputations, but you won't see them showing their hands in public. Bill, it's always good to have you here. An extremely valuable perspective from Bill George of the Harvard Business School.